So a big report out this morning from the ECB, the England and Wales Cricket Board, saying that cricket is institutionally racist, sexist, and yes, classist as well. So what's this all about? Well, we're right in midsummer, the height of the cricket season. We have the most exciting Ashes series against Australia for many, many years. England led by Ben Stokes, a big alpha male warrior of a character, whilst we may have lost the first test match very narrowly. The game at Lords this week is eagerly anticipated. We've even had over the weekend some big excitement with the England women's cricket team, where one of our bats women scored a double hundred for the first time in women's Ashes history. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I can't say batswoman. We can't say batsman anymore. No, we have to say batter. You see, that's the direction the cricket is already going in. So the ECB, a fairly useless, gutless bunch, people who welcomed the criminal Alan Stanford as he landed his helicopter on Lords with two million quid of cash for the game. The same people who've invented a format called The Hundred, when the whole of the rest of the world, Saudi Arabia, America, India, are playing 2020. Yes, these idiots commissioned a report in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protest. Do you remember them? Yes, they were that wonderful group of Marxists that wanted to bring down the entirety of Western civilization. And into the bargain, a man called Azim Rafiq claimed there'd been racism at Yorkshire Cricket Club. And indeed, Michael Vaughan, former Yorkshire and England captain, found himself cancelled from much of his media work as a result of this man's claims. That's why this report has been done. And its conclusions are damning. Yes, it says the game is racist, it is sexist, it is classist. I'm amazed they didn't say that it's heightist and fascist as well. They talk about a drinking culture. How dare you? Do you mean you've gone to work all week and work damn hard and you're having a drink on a Saturday lunchtime when you're playing cricket? No, this would never do in the modern day Puritan world that we live in. I'm amazed they haven't actually criticised teas. After all, ham sandwiches are often served. That might cause offence to some and would not be part of a full, healthy, vegan diet. And if you produce a report and you ask people to come forward and complain about bad stuff they've seen in cricket, don't be surprised when you get these conclusions. The timing of this report is truly astonishing. On the eve of this most important Lord's Ashes match, eagerly anticipated for years. Cricket as a game is booming all around the world. It's massive in the subcontinent. As I mentioned already, there are leagues about to start in Saudi Arabia and in America, where the game is growing very, very quickly. What we're seeing here is the usual form of self-hatred, self-loathing. Even our wonderful Barmy Army come in for massive criticism in this report. Behind all of this, is a loathing and a hatred of this country, its culture, and who we are. That doesn't mean that everybody involved in cricket is 100% decent and right, but the game itself is healthy. The game itself is good. And I just want everyone, please, enjoy the Lord's match. Enjoy the game, whether you're cricket fans or not. And can we please put an end to this constant doing down of everything we stand for? Nothing positive can be achieved by it.